Welcome to the behind the scenes of My Road Wheel 2016 Icon Irene of Thessaloniki. During the course of one week, we only had three days of shooting available due to both of our busy schedules. In order to tackle a month's worth of painting and drying, pre-production and careful planning were the key in order to shoot everything from start to finish. We sat down with Raya and went through all the phases and pinpointed the most time-consuming intervals between each phase where the different layers has to dry. Before we started shooting, Raya had prepared different stages of the same icon. When we were done filming with the first one, we switched the icons and continued filming with the one that was already dry. A similar method is used in cooking shows. I used a Canon 60D with Olympus lenses from the 1970s. I like the fact that they are fully manual, made of metal, and the lenses aren't anti-haze coated. I also used a method called free lensing to film the macro shots and flare transitions. All the sounds were recorded using the Rode VideoMic Pro, both on set and during Foley recording. And with the help of firmware update called Magic Lantern, I was able to monitor the audio both on screen and with headphones. Since the filming locations weren't optimal for sound recording, I had to re-record most of the sounds. There is, however, one sound effect that was recorded on location and made it to the final cut. All the post-production was done using Adobe software, Premiere Pro and After Effects. The color grading was a mixture of film convert, levels, curves and blending modes. Since the lenses used didn't have any image stabilization and the shoot was mostly handheld, some post-production stabilization was needed in few of the close-up shots. Hope you found this behind-the-scenes video informative, and if you haven't seen the short documentary yet, you can find it here. And don't forget to vote for your favorite at road.com slash myroadreel.